Nate here, wanted to let you know about a new product I just discovered. It's not out yet, it's being released in fall, but I wanted to let you know about it because I got pretty excited about it. And that is the Cards Rail 500 Plus. I had not heard of this, or maybe I have and the early onset senility kicked in. I hadn't remembered hearing about this. When I saw it, I got really excited. Now, the Cards Rail 500 Plus, what is it? Well, it's basically a tray for your Dungeon 550 Plus or or you can get two of them and put them in your 1100 plus. What could I use this for? Well, just for the boxes alone, you're going to a draft night. Well, you put your draft tray in. Your friend invites you over for a commander night. Well, instead of having to pull each individual piece out of the box and put it off to the side, you can just pull out the draft tray and put in your commander tray. I could see you having a couple of trays sitting on your shelf and one is your commander tray, one is your draft tray, one is your modern tray or tournament tray if you have different decks for different tournaments formats. You just have to swap out the tray. That's just convenient. It also has dividers inside of it. It doesn't look like it can fit your sidewinders or your boulders. From the pictures on the Gamegenic website, it doesn't look like it can. So I'm just throwing that out there so everybody knows what this is. This is more of a tray specifically for cards. But I started thinking of other use cases, which got me to thinking about some furniture I have here that I could turn into card storage. Like, think about it. What is the holy grail? for a Magic the Gathering collector. No, not that, a card catalog. Magic the Gathering collectors would love a card catalog and these trays could turn a piece of furniture essentially into a card catalog. In fact, there is one feature that Gamegenic doesn't mention that I hope it has just by virtue of the way it's designed is stackability. I hope it can be stacked because if it can be stacked, I can turn my shelf into a card catalog. That's a great use case for it. Or even just sorting trays. Like this could have a ton of uses, but it doesn't say it's stackable. It doesn't show it being stacked. So it could not be. I was all excited and then reality kicked in. As I looked at the price, $30. One tray is $30. And then I was sad again. Now, I didn't mean to get your hopes up and then crash them down. I just wanted to share the experience. It was a little disappointing, okay, a lot disappointing to see that it was $30 for CNC cut acrylic. But I'm hoping that Ultimate Guard sees this, Ultra Pro sees this, Legion, other gaming accessory companies see this and see an opportunity. I think Ultimate Guard can make a killing here because their trays wouldn't have to be as tall, which means they could fit in shorter drawers. And if another company creates a similar product and makes it stackable and points those out as features, they've massively expanded the pool of potential buyers. If this was $30 for two, sign me up. But $30 for one, that's almost expensive as a dungeon itself. So I just wanted to make everyone aware of this product. I think it's a great product. I don't think it's priced very well. And I'm hoping that Gamegenic may change their price. They probably won't because I live in a fantasy world, but we can hope. The Gathering for a Cause fundraiser that we did on Tuesday, June 21st went fantastic. We raised a lot of money for Alzheimer's research and the fundraiser is still open. Link in the description down below. You still have time. Go to that link, donate some money for Alzheimer's research. Research. Thank you so much. Follow me on TikTok and Twitter at FDS underscore MTG. Click on stuff, particularly that, because it will help you in some way. I don't know what way. It's the best for viewer choice. So whatever that's up there, it's best for you. And I believe it because I trust our corporate overlords. This show is part of the CIP Network, inspiring creativity one episode at a time.